ready to launch fucking ass <laughs> entrepreneurs Up and left my side Wishing you the best Take it how you want this side yeah. Hold up the line Just to get inside Make it through the night It's just you and I Saw you in Miami Top floor, you got a penthouse view Baby girl, you almost had me Found you in a club Bottles full of bubbly Ain't looking for love Long as you understand me Whoa. Why'd you waste my time? Why'd you waste my time? I gave you my eyes And you just left me blind Yeah All these sacrifices that I made us by Wish you'd rather be out with flashing lights I know we never switch sides Never saw eye to eye, but we had a time of our lives I just really, really wanna know Did you love me or was it for sure? Did you use me just to feel less alone? Till you found somebody else to take you home yeah. I thought it was all for the fighting But I knew that was way too obvious Maybe I was far too quiet Telling you how much I adored you Oh, oh, oh. Finally I'm alone I knew that it was over when I saw him texting your phone Why'd you waste my time? Why'd you waste my time? I gave you my eyes and you just left me blind yeah. All these sacrifices that I made in spite But you'd rather be out with flashing lights Whoa. Why'd you waste my time? Why'd you waste my time? I gave you my eyes and you just left me blind All these sacrifices that I made us by Wish you'd rather be out with flashing lights Flashing lights, flashing lights Flashing lights Oh, flashing lights Everything changes the moment you step on board. You can stay on track. I'll be on a cruise ship here in a little bit. Stop. <laughs> Zoom in. I don't need nothing but truth. Double the whiskey and shake. I'm feeling further from you. Feeling the weight of my weight. I'm losing count of the states. Running for 43 days. Anything but an escape. I can keep up with the pace Father, father, let me figure it out I'm gonna swim in the thick of it now I can't even tell the difference now As the sun comes up Shining down on the tent I did too much living And I'm dying again I guess I lost my
and always this way I can't keep up with the pace Father, Father, let me figure it out I'm gonna swim in the thick of it now I can't even tell the difference now As the sun comes up Shining down on the tent I did too much living And I'm dying again I guess I lost my Chat, what's happening, man? What's good, y'all? Hopefully, Big Ten doesn't block us again. Please, Big Ten, please. All right, me, me and Hayden are going to uh, review tonight's, tonight's festivities. We got two games. We've already watched these. <laughs> it's not a lot to choose from. I'll try to choose where he had some of his most production, so we're going to be watching the Eastern Carolina and the Purdue game. Yes, 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 yes. JJ McCarthy, as you guys, fought, you know, so so humbly have named him over the years. Um, let me go ahead and put in. I don't care about Honey Buck. I don't need Honey Buck. Maybe I should do that because taxes were terrible this year. I I appreciate uh, YouTube for the write-offs this year, though. I'll never hey, forget. Shout out YouTube. Never forget, man. They're the real homies. <laughs> Except for right. that one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what we got cooking here with Roman Wilson. All righty. Is that the, I believe, the right side? Yep. He's this short, light-skinned dude wearing number one. Nothing to see there. Nope. Let's see if I can kind of scroll through this. Yeah. This way. Try to get it to a pass. All right. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's the full game because I didn't really have a. Oh, this is. Oh yeah, that that the, the was Jim that Harbaugh game, formation. Mm -hmm. Man, should have never get got that cheeseburger, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was Roma trying to hold his own right there with the block though? That's up. I just don't like the throw. I, I mean, will say it was there. Uh, this is what I always look at too, Hayden. Like. I'm going to chop this field in half. Exactly. What is, what is the weak and strong side on the offensive ball? One, two, two, maybe this guy if he rolls out in a flat. This is the strong side. Then you count the defenders. One, two, three, four, right? One, exactly. two, three, four. I'm talking to guys at the second and third level of, third, of the yeah. field. He's the lone man out here. <laughs> so if J.J. McCarthy's dropping back, unless he's running a boot and it's intended to run to this guy, Depending on what this offensive scheme does, who are we identifying mm -hmm. as the hot? We're identifying this guy as the hot read. As well. I would say, wouldn't be that edge yeah. rusher. Yeah, he's the one that's stepping up on you know at the line of scrimmage. You know, unless these guys are doing something crazy, the only time that I would ever call a hot is if this guy switches his stance for whatever reason. You got two yeah. hands in the dirt, and then all of a sudden you're just intentionally got one hand in the dirt. It's the type of stuff mm -hmm. that you look for, right? 
the small um, stuff at the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but we'll see what happens here. Just up a late quorum run. Is Roman Wilson out here? Yeah, they, um, they pulled they pulled him out because of yeah he was running some long routes. So we'll skip past that. All right, got Roman I Wilson. Think he's in the slot. It looks like right here, right here in the slot. Yeah, feel free to feel free to ask questions in the, in the chat, guys. Yep. I am an open book. I mean, <laughs> he got blown up. He did his job down there. Yeah. You take out that guy. I, I would, I mean. That's that. Roman Wilson's in the slot too. Closest side to the right tackle. Yep. Oh, we got a dime look here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll say this though about that play from JJ. I like how he kept his eyes downfield when he was scrambling. You know, could have grabbed a few yards on that. <laughs> yeah, what's the down and distance though? I didn't, I didn't catch it. Uh, is it this is, the first down? I think so from the last run by Blake Horn. Well, it's thirty-nine. No, thirty-nine. Let's see, are they at the fourteen? So he has to be up around the five. All right, so we got three hot reads here, right? We got one, two, three hot three. reads. You obviously got zone coverage. These guys are not up on the line. You got Playing advantage off. of stacked receivers, so what are they going to do to confuse this defense? Mm -hmm. It's literally a two-on-two. Two. This guy's probably going to come down here, help here. You got these two guys that are probably, you know, probably played a zone down here and probably played a zone up here. Uh So, I probably, let's see what the route concept is. So, the hot receivers didn't come out. And J-Day notices there's pressure in his face here. Good, good, good. Nothing developed downfield. Again, keep in mind, too, we got a third down. It's a third and nine, right? You do have your yep. guy in the flat. You do, this but I believe he has to not, get all the way to the five as well. This is not favorable because of this one matchup here. Yeah, so, and you have to get to the five yard line as well, which doesn't help there. Oh, was this a forward pass? Uh yeah. Yeah, it was. Looking at the line, he is a good two yards in front of the line when he threw that. I didn't even notice that at first. This might be a forward pass. So he yeah, has to just keep an eye, make sure he's not a Cross the line next time. Shot at the to Roman though, because he ran his route, got locked up. So now he's gonna have to get separation with him and and the guy him. that's here, right? So yeah, it's scramble drill. I'll get to your, your guys' comment here in a section. Uh, in a section. In a second. <laughs> Splits up Phil. And, you know, now they're noticing that JJ has come down. So they're pressing up to try and prevent him from getting the first down. Yeah, so that's why that corner lit up. You see him at the top. Oh, now yeah. He's at the one. It makes the safety's job a lot harder. See, so this, is, this, this is the type of stuff where you give your quarterback every opportunity. You see this a lot out of Roman Wilson, too. And that's what makes him so good. Oh, yeah. He's very I creative. Looked. I will say he's creative. He knows when it's like a scramble drill and he has to get open to try and get something for JJ. You got to give credit to Roman for that. Um, look, look at this. This one I want you guys to notice here too. You know, he's running a comeback, so he's facing the, the line of scrimmage. There's a lot of stuff going on, but you got to recognize JJ's got pressure here. You know you're not going to be able to come down here. So the first thing in your mind as a receiver is I'm just going to listen here um for the whistle but until that whistle's blown i gotta make something happen i got this guy touching me 
Gonna roll out. Got the safety over top. I can't remember if this is this if he's a safety or this is the corner. Either way it goes, you got an unfavorable matchup here. Yeah. Come up here, get in the end zone, and make something happen. This is what makes him so good, right? He gives he's gave he gives JJ the every chance to be good. He does. Y you and know then, who you got? You know who you don't want? <laughs> you don't want Donovan Edwards doing this. There's so, yeah. Nobody says that Donovan Edwards has to stay here once you get pressure. And, you know, JJ's had pressure. He could have he could have crossed crossed up field. He could have tried to get in the end zone, split these defenders somewhere. Like probably what it, from what it looks like, would have had better luck coming across the field instead of trying to go for the end zone. Yeah. I, I've, I've been a big fan of Roman Wilson just because of shit like this. Oh, yeah. Excellent That's, play by him. I, I would say this is from receivers. Cause they show I would they say this is probably not going to work in the NFL, and I'm pretty sure that this is probably a forward pass. I don't remember this as a penalty or not, but, like, Roman Wilson was the hero of this play. They shouldn't have been blocking this bad um, oh, yeah. at all. Player, play Dante the refuses game. to buy a, a camera light. Oh, no, I have one right here. It's right. Y'all can see it. <laughs> let me let me turn the ISO up. I guess it's I guess it's dark. Hold up. There you go. Now it's on. Y'all happy now? Yeah. All right. Let me get to the comments, man. Sorry, it's breaking down this stuff. Oh, what's up, guys? Sorry, my name is. My name is a little weird. Are you guys the dude that runs this channel? Just wondering. Um, it's me, Hayden, Sora, and my guy Don. So yeah, you won't see Don all the time. You'll see him on some of our live shows. Um, but breaking down film, you'll you'll see us. Yeah, see three of <laughs> Dante, us. Dante, my dude. What's up, Space Beast? Chris Ferrer seems like he's a red zone wide receiver. <laughs> uh, yes, I would say so. He's very uh. He's not allergic to being in the end zone and making things happen. Let's say that's where he's really comfortable. Roman is supposed to be a high IQ player. Absolutely is. And when he Kid, does stuff like that, that proves it. <laughs> um, the, the the thing about Roman too, and just like a lot of other players, and I think I said this on Graph shows from you know, I think I said this on Graph show. Um, but there's a lot of guys out of Hawaii, man, that nobody ever talks about. And he's from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I just found out today that that's where he's from. So add another prospect to your board from Hawaii. <laughs> he's great. Yes. Uh, I know you guys have some hot takes. Are you going to do a what I would do mock? I don't know. Um, we will do one. That's just what we would do. But I do have a video on my channel. You know, if the six quarterbacks were to be drafted mm -hmm. off a of scheme fit team and scheme fit versus like you know everything else that people draft quarterbacks off of not that many people are, are talking about him yeah <laughs> then he said Dante refuses to buy a camera light <laughs> uh plus like right now I just sold my house not that long ago so like mm -hmm. I'm in a one bedroom apartment until me and my wife find a we we're gonna buy another house but she's like currently sleeping too so but I could have just turned the ISO up on here. Yeah. Oh, he had. <laughs> I will say, Roman had him on the step. He was throw the flag I, up. I, there you go. <laughs> hey, honestly, I always, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't get mad at those CBs. I'm like, you, you yeah. prevent the touchdown right there. This is a, this is a classic case right here. And and great ball from JJ McCarthy. I know I rag on him a lot. I love the pocket presence there. Ooh, almost Steps got that up. shit swatted. But somehow that ball Ooh. came out. One of the better JJ McCarthy throws that didn't mean shit but a penalty. And then they throw the piss towels out because this is clearly a flag. Yeah. This is what you do as a DB right here when you know you can't cover a receiver. <laughs> but unlike, so again, I know it feels like I'm ragging on fucking Adana and Mitchell like crazy. But he's just a lazy runner. If he ran as hard as Roman did, he'd probably be the best receiver in this class. Yeah. The hands are there. Yeah. Let's get to the comments real quick, man. Appreciate y'all being here. I know this is uh 
some of this shit is boring to some people. F is fanatics. What do you think of Ricky Pearsall? Um, there's actually, if you go to our channel in the videos, there is a breakdown that my boy Sora did. And I broke down the film on Ricky Pearsall. We're very high on Ricky Pearsall. We got to interview him. Great guy. I love he was killing it at guy. the Senior Bowl. But the one thing about him, sometimes he could be an inconsistent catcher. The easier it catches is what he tends to drop. Probably the best blocking tight end or best blocking wide receiver in the class. Right. <laughs> but he struggles against really physical corners. Um, I was telling Graft the other day, I said, Cam, Cam, uh, Cam Hart. Hurt. I had him locked up at the mm -hmm. Senior Bowl. But you saw it on the tape, too. It's kind of hard. Sample size this small. Mm, inconsistent quarterback play. Regardless of what everybody feels about Anthony Richardson, he was inconsistent. Yeah. Um. So and there you have it. That. Love him. He has nice size. Yeah, he has really good size. Smaller guy, but he will excel in the NFL. I believe so. Mm -hmm. I'm a hundred percent a believer of Roman Wilson. I'm a hundred percent believer that he made JJ McCarthy who he was too. Um, may, you know, JJ's like this to me. Stats, but he's grown on me. But still, what round mm -hmm. is Roman Wilson going in? I bet the, to me he could sneak into the first round, but he's he, a second. He's a second K, round guy. KC, no Baltimore, Buffalo, maybe, but I don't think that'll happen. I think it'll be more second round. We see him. Yeah, I think you're going to see him in the second round. Ne this is one of those drafts where you can't pass up on talent. It's uh, could uh, could work well in the slot. I think he's good everywhere, man. I think. Outside is where he can really shine, though. Oh, yeah. Checks at three, checks at five, checks at six and eight. I started dinner film study comes on part way through. I had the sheet open in the rosters, but I'll respond uh, late because my hands are full of cutlery. Nah, 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 you're good. Dana you is our, one of our main moderators. She keeps everything straight for us as far as our film studies and uh, players. So mm -hmm. if you guys want a suggestion on a player, we'll be doing this even throughout the draft so you guys can get a big picture on how they're going to um help a team out there i'm high on them too go get yeah. back to my center's big board got got get 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 back to my center's big board <laughs> might want to repeat like, that again I'm, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm confused i think he says he's high on roman but he has to go back to working on his centers list. oh okay yeah we're doing offense alignment all this week too i always wait for offense alignment to the last week Hey, all I'm saying, give me Christian the Jones, ones, man. They're the ones that get projected so high. Oh, they're yeah. like quarterbacks, and then once you start getting the the full display on all of them, um, then you can really start making a determination. I try not to. Okay, he's not out do there for that play. Later. Yeah, I try not to do it till later. So this is the week of offensive linemen. Is he out there for this play? He's not out there for this play. Like Corm doing Blake Corm things. Yeah. It's just Blake size, but he's strong as shit. I know. He had the most bench reps at the combine. I know the video look like he didn't he did half of them, you know? Yeah. But still. You gotta give him credit for his size. Oh, I know. Mm, give me one second, guys. Get back to it. Yeah, appreciate all you guys being here, man. Thank you so much. I know this is uh, a... <laughs> I like the people that, that like to watch this with us, man. He's Who's dead. your biggest sleeper for the draft? One on offense, one on defense? That's... It's a great question. Defense, you gotta go. I know I got Dwayne Carter. Dwayne Carter? Dwayne Carter's a good one. But that's a good one. But I know that's Soros. Yeah. I keep hey, I keep my money where my mouth. Alright. Oh, is this a little just levels I, concept? Yeah, and then just the separation he gets, knowing it's not gonna be long, but still gets a yard or two of separation. When he hits that corner and turns, it's amazing. Love this levels concept. If you guys ever see this, 
little I'm levels concept. Say, they call it levels man, because two different levels in the middle of the field. They also try to open it up on the outside. So the goal is to pull these guys here, get these guys beat. That way you kind of have a favorable matchup with the tight end kind of taking a chunk. Out Hopefully of these taking two, both. Yeah. Out of this, uh, you know, weak and, and Mike linebacker here. And really and truly, you want to hit this guy over the middle if you can. Maybe sometimes you can find a favorable matchup down here or up here. Here, but it's mainly um, the two across that they look at. So Colson Loveland's going to be available. But then also, <laughs> Colson Loveland sold this. This guy's not going to get anywhere near close. And because the route was so beautiful out of Roman Wilson getting his 10 yard in, man, uh, he got he had that dude beat all day. This is this is uh, surgical a, precision right here. Look at his nasty yeah. work. Beautiful work he got through. Oh, no. The, Lost my place. I do, I this, I do this at least one, like, one, no. one. No, no, no. I do this at least one time a stream. Yeah. No, but even in that, he was still uh, like Roman Wilson finding the separation in that small little box there. Yeah. All right, this is nasty work by me. My my apologies, guys. Uh so Caleb Williams, how he feels about Caleb Williams? Not a team guy, really. Hmm. Footwork is shoddy. He gets himself in the sacks. Really? So not what uh, I've seen. Um, you say he's not a team guy, right? I don't know. I I don't know, bro. I are you reading too much into what the media is saying about Caleb Williams? Yes. Um, me and Hayden were at the combine. Last person off. Last person off the field, also helping people. Um, I have a guy that's close to University of Southern California. Teammates rave and love him. A lot of teammates would go out and say he would put the team on his back whenever. I think the media has got Caleb Williams kind of say he's not a team guy, but I mean, the reason why he's crying in his mom's arm during the Utah game when they were pretty much pushed out of contention is because he cared so much. He was num number six. I said this on Graph Show. Number six in the country as far as points scored I know. in the whole entire country. He's not a team guy, bro. I don't know if you're talking about your, his his Man. footwork. That offensive line was ranked 120th Terrible out of 133 line. schools also, as far as pass protection. Out. Yeah, bro. I, might, I, re I respect your opinion, but mm, you look at that type of stuff. We just, Pocket presence does a great, uh, great breakdown on Williams. Yeah, all eyes on me as I cry after a game with my mom. Uh, you gotta also realize like his parents don't fly across the country all the time to watch him play too. So the embarrassment of like you actually putting your the team on your back. Um, and then that like happens in a, in a close game, and you felt like you've done everything. And you see your mom for the first time in probably you know a couple of weeks or whatever it is, mm -hmm. yeah. I would say it's a little embarrassing and things like that. Um, we do try and stay attached with the players on film we are currently watching. Yeah, that's true. I'm a USF fan. I disagree. If it's for Fernandez, he put the team on his back with no defense and no line. Yeah. But when you fire your defense coordinator, Alex Grinch, halfway yeah. through the season. Dana, I don't mind I don't mind a little bit of questions tonight because I think these guys are, are pretty new. But yeah, we do have a call in show. You guys can call in or ask your Everyone. your questions in the comments tomorrow. But these are uh those are legit questions. They're not trolley questions. <laughs> when has Lincoln ever had a defense? It, it's been the worst that it ever was last year. That's yeah. that was statistically known at his position. Yeah, I was one of the first ones I did. I believe was Cooper DeGene. Love Cooper DeGene. I believe so. Yeah, he's not the number one corner though. That's gonna be fun to see your corner list. Oh, you already know who's number one. Oh, yeah. Do you know who's number one? Didn't you? I know you weren't high on Wiggins. I think it's Wiggins um, or Mitchell. 
Uh, uh, no, nah, I'm not as high on Queen on Mitchell. He's not. He, <laughs> he did improve, though. He did at eyes. the Senior Bowl, but shit, the, the film is what is really the deciding factor in all of my analysis. Yeah. But isn't it Nate Wiggins? Because you switched yeah. up on him. Yeah, Nate Wiggins is my number one. Oh, I think if he goes to Hold Atlanta, on. that would be Hold good. This, this fucking dog, bro. One second. Not Cassie, no. Take your ass to bed. Take your ass to bed. No, we ain't doing that. Get to bed. I think for running back, it's motor and stuff like that, too. <sighs> No, but uh, okay. I have a feeling Atlanta's going to pick up Nate Wiggins to go next to A.J. Terrell. Yeah, A.J. Terrell's... Well, the two Clemson two Clemson guys, that'd be hilarious. I know. As, as long as uh, Sam Hartman is not in their division, they should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Sam has Hartman in their corner. I just think there's better DBs out there. Cooper DeGene has one really lacking thing is like them jab steps that some wide receivers do gets him. It gets him mm -hmm. hard. But his makeup speed to get there and make a play is absolutely incredible. JJ not That's making speed. pro throws. Yeah, he's not doing that. No. Dante, aren't you lower on Corum than the consensus? I know he has some wear and tear, but what are the traits that decided you're ranking on him? Um, where did I put my man Blake Corum? I'm not gonna get give you guys my final rankings. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you guys anything. That'll be coming I'm out next week. I'm gonna shut up. Um, I like Blake Corum. He's my number six in this draft, for sure. He almost made my top five. He was so razor thin close. I like TJ Tampa. TJ Tampa's in my top five. Atlanta needs an edge. Stay away from Dallas Turner. Yes. I think they need a corner, though. You secure the outside, though. I'll be huge. Even though you can get probably a guy like TJ Tampa in the second round. Yeah, that's not a that's not an NFL throw. Mm -mm. Where you where you gotta throw this ball, Hayden? It's very obvious. The corner of then. Oh, oh, the corner right there, so you can get it. Doesn't he throw it behind him a little bit? Yeah. Like, what are we doing, JJ? You're on the run. You've made these throws on the run. And if you don't feel or confident... Just, or, or just commit to the run. What was the down and say, distance? I was going to say, what's the down and distance? Because if it's first and 10, throw that thing away if you don't feel like you can get it. Second, Second and 11. 11. You get Taxi. up three, four yards, that's bed. easier for you to get the first down. Yeah. Like, you kidding me? All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Where was this? <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> JJ, JJ, JJ. Where was this, man? Yeah, that's a beautiful throw catch. Maybe it was just a, a little, a little much. <sighs> but I'm sure he can start on most teams. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, he's going to be playing on somebody's team on Sunday for sure. Up there for the block. That's the only other deficiency that I see. Blocking. To be fair, he doesn't have the size for it. Yeah, but oh. like a blocker too. I know. Hey, you remember that game where he made the motherfucker switch slides because he was <laughs> he was making Joey Porter, he was working Joey Porter Jr. I know. In the third quarter, they were like, "Hell no, nah, we ain't trying this shit no more against Charlie." <laughs> Kathy. 
This dog is gonna be the death of me. Fucking stop. Cassie had it again, chat. No. I get said the blocking is the only thing that concerns me so far about Roman Wilson, but his sides is you to it. But you do got smaller guys that can block, though. But I'll give him a really late pass on this one. So, yeah. Cassie's getting his work tonight. <laughs> Cassie's like, come on, play. <laughs> Effort beats size disparities. If the guy, if the bigger guy isn't trying as hard, exactly. Mm -hmm. Man, how many times are they gonna try this? I know. Are we back uh, at this time? Yeah, I think. Yeah, this is where the backup started coming. All right, so that was the first one. Though this is the one where he absolutely went off against Purdue, though. Uh, I could see the Giants or Patriots taking him. Yeah. Mm. You'd love to see it. Where was Rome at? It's not it seems he's on the right side. Oh, no, he bed. is. What the hell? Yep, he's in the sack. Oh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Just good coverage there. Mm -hmm. Not going to run him. Knows how to get this defender away from the play. It's Sorry, out. not Giants. The Jets. All oh, the Giants could use them too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They like that trips trips bunch right there. Ooh, ooh, that was deadly. I was about to say you gotta ooh. throw that shit, JJ. <laughs> you gotta throw that shit. But why? See, this is what I talk about, like, NFL versus college throws right here. That little step exactly. inside was nasty. That little that little jabby. Just gets the separation he needs. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Get in your bed. Cassie's acting up, yo. Yeah, Cassie's acting up today. <laughs> All right. But here's the thing. Throwing it here, opposed to where you threw it on the route. We always say this on the route. It's fine. Throw it a, a little ahead. But this is elementary compared to NFL. <laughs> You get that just there, like, you give Roman Wilson more of a chance to get more yards after the he, catch. And who knows? He's beating this guy. This guy's already coming down. He's oh, already yeah. got him beat. He's just going to stay upfield and get it here. It's more the guy that's on quarterback to make. <laughs> like, is it? <laughs> a completed pass is a completed pass. I get it. But you can't, you can't say. Um, can't say that was a 10 out of 10. No. Oh, you know, you have dogs, too. <laughs> Roman has to slow down a bit for that to be on route. Uh, yeah. Dana's right about that. Oh, it's just a run play. Cassie jumped down. Heather says she jumps up here and I'm getting hot. <laughs> He's not in 
for this one. Oh, is this that throw that he made on the lead him a little bit more he had to turn his body again to just make that you lead him a few yards up he's had he's gone this is why i mean what do we say man people put the blinders on jj's elite he's so good where would where would you want that ball place to wouldn't it be a little <laughs> not <bit>? here <laughs> yeah this is behind exactly you can tell by the this is on the route <laughs> and this is nfl you want the ball to be right here right there okay where he's extending just a little bit and getting that because he's going to turn it up phil he is at the roman is at the best angle right now the safety is already automatically committed you're telling me that he can't get up phil this guy's already cooked he's out of the equation say, he's gone there's at least one to two years he's pot roast this is a great route by Roman, but you slow him down whenever he has to twerk his body to come make this catch. Whenever you see this, this is just an okay pass. Okay, I'm glad that you could throw it to the open receiver, JJ. Yeah. I need this ball to be right here. You, I mean, you're just restricting, you're just restricting him. Because what? this is the other side of it for quarterbacks too. Let's say that he did throw him here mm -hmm. and he went upfield and did a touchdown. You know who they're going to be giving praise to? The casuals? The, the quarterback. This guy right here. But they're giving praise to JJ for this instead of Roman. It's the opposite. Yep. Right? Should be more praise to Roman because he was the one that made the play. You just restricted him. Mm hmm. Did he fumble that? I just saw. No, it just looked like nah. it from that, from, from that game speed. <laughs> I mean, Chris, this is why I don't really have the popular opinion, and that's why I just think on my own. Like, it's. Mm -hmm. I He's going, JJ. JJ, how's 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 the pressure? Blake Corn picked him up. And Roman Wilson, not Roman. He had a guy turning the corner too at the Big Ten logo. And he missed. He missed that throw. Oh my goodness! How do you? You're. You're still. <laughs> So Colson Lovelin was supposed to come back and get this pass that's all the way downfield over here and he's standing here. Are you serious? What are you doing? NFL throw, make it up here. But the man's beat here. Mm -hmm. He's cooked. He's done. There's a step on him. You can even just tell. Right here, Hayden? He's about to break open. You can see it right there. When he cuts in, when he cuts out, it's over. By the time he made the throw, if he just would have looked there, he would have seen it. You got to think, right? As a quarterback, I'm standing here. Even if this guy's playing man to man, he's probably here. So when you got a route like this, and I'm standing he's here, he's and he's just feet. right here, I'm beating him already because it's going to be mm -hmm. like this up the field. <laughs> put that ball. The owner has his head put that ball right two, there. So you could even risk it there. Yeah. But this is JJ Mid Carthy. <laughs> All right, I know it's getting a little late. We're gonna we're gonna cut this one a little yeah. bit short, but we've I'll already say seen Ooh. everything out of Roman Wilson. I'm loving so. Roman Wilson, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am too. The appreciate everybody versatility. I appreciate everybody that came pressure. through, man. I hope y'all come through on, on Wednesday for the call-in show. Yes. Um, we're going to restart UFL back up here in two weeks after the draft. So yep. be back with that. And then it'll be nothing but 
videos the rest of this week with our mock drafts and everything like that getting prepared for the draft so mm -hmm. but some of those throws were off yeah yeah but i mean i don't know you can't do that if you're doing this against purdue you're gonna be doing this against elite teams and they're gonna be interceptions say, yeah. or worse how many of these can you miss in college so appreciate mm -hmm. everybody man for checking us out me and hayden we'll talk to you guys later man